right, guys, Coach Bill Sandville coming to you from Chandler, Arizona, and it's a brand new week. I'm going to talk about a question I got over the weekend was, how can my son create more power? So I'm going to go into a bunch of stuff that will if you do these things, you can create more power too. All right, guys, so how do you create more power in your swing? I, I think what really gets a lot of young players in trouble when they're younger is they spend a lot of time working on getting scapped up. You hear these coaches talk about, hey, you need to get scapped up, you need to get scapped up. And what I'm finding and what I'm seeing in my guys is that they're spending a lot of time getting, trying to get those hands straight back and then they get into their stride and then they become heavy on their front foot. So let me go into what I think you should do and what you, what you should concentrate on. Now, in my training, I always break the swing down in parts. So the first thing I want to talk about is getting to a preload. So when you hear coaches talk about getting your hands back, I, I think that's a huge no-no. I think you want to be able to really, really just tighten up that scap, really, really just get your hands here. Even if I kept my bat on my shoulder and did this, where I'm pulling back and I'm weighted on that backside, and I'm getting to foot down, I can practice, I can hit from this position. So if I get the foot down, and I get scapped up, loaded up so that weight's on my backside, I can launch the barrel backward and drive to my connection point, okay? I can get here in a scap load, release, and just fire that tension. So, here's the first thing I will tell you to do. Work backwards in your swing. If you want to create more power, know what it's like to get to the foot down position when you're all scapped up, when you're uh, weighted on that backside. Call it whatever you want. But here's the thing, don't get linear with your, with your load. Feel like it's coming around a corner. Feel like you're, you're scapping up or you're tightening that scap and getting your hands inside. That way, if that ball comes away, all you've got to do is drop that head, do a deep barrel turn and then drive to your connection point. Now, I think the first thing you gotta understand, guys, is this move right here, when we're rotating those hands, that's the biggest movement we're gonna make. So the first thing I would tell my guys is get used to that movement. Get used to that, that head of the bat moving backwards before it goes forward, okay? And then as far as your stride goes, you gotta make sure that you're weighted on this backside when your foot hits the ground. And then it's almost instantaneous. So if I get to here, Foot up, foot down, and I'm on my backside. I can launch from that position. Okay guys, so we talked about that rearward motion where you're throwing the head back. Let's talk about when we create that corner and that scap load, I wanna be able to fire off this way. And when I fire off, my, my back pelvis, my back torsion, we call that rear leg torsion, that's gonna snap as I release. So as I get to here in, in my scap load, right? And I get the foot down, almost at the foot down. When I release, I'm going to drive through the ball and I'm going to let that backside torsion release as well. The biggest thing is that if I have that, I have what is called negative lean or a little bit of tilt. So if I'm working to the connection point, we call this getting to your six. So if that's my connection point, you can see how the bat is right here. Now, as I move up the ladder, you can see how just turning that, those wrists, being able to, to work this bat. And again, my spine angle changes with the height of the ball. So if I have a normal spine angle and that ball is at my knees, I'm gonna get here. And you're gonna see that, that barrel go 12 to six, right? We call that getting to your six or getting to your connection point. As that ball moves up from a normal spine angle, all I'm gonna do is really, really torque that head of the bat, get that ball middle up, Make my connection even higher, get that connection. And that's, that's what I'm seeing online, a lot of hitting Twitter saying, yeah, on these guys that you know turn the barrel, have a deep barrel turn, they can't hit that, that high pitch. Well, if my hands are right here and that pitch is right here, all I gotta do is turn and connect. So it's almost impossible not to hit that pitch. I think the problem lies is that when we, we push first, now that ball is up here, it's hard to try to adjust and that's when you get beat. So again, guys, if you want more power in your swing, right? 
Work to get the foot down on time, but more importantly, there's a couple of things you need to do. You need to create a good torsion, get down that rear leg. You need to create that, that good scap load. You need to throw the head of the bat rearward when you release that rear leg torsion and get a good, you call it what you want, get a good snap, get a good barrel turn, get, get whatever you want, power through the zone, whatever it is, get to your connection point and power through. So as I stride, scap, come through. Everything's the same. So again, remember, we work on load too, we work on lag. So lag is your timing. So if I'm a leg kick guy, and I'm here, I'm in my lag, I can scap, create a good corner, and then release, and get through. So again, guys, that's all you gotta do is create power. Work on this move right here, where you're getting that bat off your shoulder, get to your six, get to your connection point, power through the zone, good strong finish. Make sure you're weighted on that backside, because the other thing too, guys, is adjustability. If I'm heavy on my front side, and my barrel is dragging, I can't hit that off-speed pitch. I have no adjustability on anything that's off-speed. Slider, change-up, curveball, I have nothing because I'm all out front. Now all I have is turning my wrist over. And we know we don't want to turn our wrist over. We want to be able to snap here, get good extension, and then roll. So again, remember, create a good lag, create a good corner, get on that backside, Rear leg torsion, snap through connection. All right, guys, have a great week. We'll talk soon.